This is so cool. I finally, finally got it. I came all the way to the tiny island of Madeira in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean just to photograph one place, this place, the beautiful forest of Fanao, full of crooked, bent, twisted and very old trees. But as beautiful as they are, I'm missing just one thing to make really great images here, I mean, it's some fog. It is Monday, the uh... 22nd of November. We got here on Saturday, so a couple of days ago, and we've been coming here every day since then, and I'm afraid we'll be doing that for the rest of the week until I get those conditions that I came looking for here. And it's not like I'm crazy enough to travel thousands of miles just hoping to find some fog at a random place. This place is supposed to get a ton of fog. It just hasn't happened yet. All I can do now all we can do now, because I'm joined by Rachel on this trip, is to just wait around. And waiting we did. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful place and I loved my time up there doing nothing, enjoying the landscape, scouting the best trees, walking around, talking to the cows, or even napping. I stayed there patiently waiting 10 hours every day. I did some photography as well, because there's always something you can do, no matter the conditions, especially in beautiful places. I even got some weather, so I couldn't complain, but in the back of my mind, I knew that's not what I went there for. I didn't want just great images, I was looking for magic, but that wasn't going to happen just yet. Day four, up here, there's still no fog, but today we have this beautiful rainbow here. Look at that. This is the absolute opposite of how I usually do photography. In any other place, at any other time, I would just be driving around and improvising, uh, making images of whatever I might find on my way. But on this trip, I am committing to this one spot. It might uh, turn out to be a big mistake because I might be missing out on a lot of images down uh, at the coast or in these beautiful mountains uh, instead of being here just waiting for something that might not even happen during the time I have here. It is a risk I'm taking, I think it's a risk worth taking, but I might leave the island empty-handed. I hope not. Day four was just like day three, and like day two, and like day one. Clear, peaceful, sunny, calm, good for the soul. But out in the ocean, something was starting to build up. I got a glimpse of what Fanal could become in the right conditions. 
As the clouds rolled in and out, they created fleeting but magical moments in the forest. I felt the adrenaline rush as I ran from favorite tree to favorite tree trying to make the most of those moments. After days of walking the forest, I felt like I knew every inch of it, but everything looked so different in that fog. It was like a whole new world, and I had no idea how long I was going to have access to it. After teasing me for 15 minutes, Fanal decided it had had enough. The fog cleared up and the rain came. I was grateful for what I had seen, but day four was over. The magic is about to happen, don't worry, but in this first part of the video I wanted to show you how hard it was to get the right conditions, even in a place that gets fog so often. Before going back to Fanal, I wanted to thank my Patreons for all their generous contributions. You make all of this possible, so thank you so much. Today I'd like to personally thank John Floyd, someone who's been supporting my work for a long time and keeps uh, doing so. Thank you so much, John, for all your support. Also, I want to let you know that I'm going to be sharing more behind the scenes and tips about how to photograph the Forest of Fanal over on my Patreon page. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below just in case you want to join us there. And now let's go back to Madura. Day five, um, going back up to Fanal again. It's a little rainy today. I don't know if that's good news or bad news for uh, my photography up there for the fog, but I shall find out very soon. So I made it up here and uh, it is very foggy today. As you can probably see there, there are more people there waiting, but this fog comes uh, at a price today. Uh, it's the rain, it's raining quite a lot. I'm gonna get so wet and full of mud, but this is so beautiful. Hopefully the camera will be okay in the plastic bag. I have my uh, poncho, so I should be mostly fine. Most importantly, I have spare socks and spare shoes in the car, which is very important. This is heaven. far my favorite image of the trip so far very very cool
and now it's not even raining anymore but yeah, yeah this is so cool i finally finally got it All right, so I'm back in the car uh, because it's cleared up quite a bit now that it's not raining. I came here to assess damages of my camera gear and of myself because it was raining a lot. I spent an hour out there and I had, what, 40, 45 minutes of really thick fog, most of it with intense rain. But it was so fun. It was so worth it. I, I I think I made a, a, at least two or three very good images. This is what I came to this island for. I was looking for this. So it got foggy again. I had to run out of the car. I left the video cameras there and everything. So it's going to be just my iPhone. But this is, this is just incredible. Look at this tree. Back in the car again. It looks like I got here just in time. It's raining a lot again. It's super foggy too. It's so beautiful. But probably not the best time to be out there right now. But I'm so happy. I'm so happy because uh, finally I got some time here. Uh, I was out there for another couple hours <clears throat> and the fog was very, very thick. It was not raining, so it was perfect. I'm going to change again because I'm all soaked. And yeah, I don't want to get sick in another country during a global pandemic. That would be uh, probably not fun. Day five at Fanal, back at it. It's not as foggy today, but it, it might still get foggy later. So fingers crossed. And it did get foggy over the next few days. 
I got more and more of that fanal magic. Often chilly, rainy at times, very, very windy, but always so beautiful. Today is not as good, the conditions are not as good as uh, yesterday or the day before. Super, super windy. So cool. After eight days on the island, it was time to say goodbye. There were so many places in Madeira I didn't get to photograph. My approach on this trip was different, but I'm glad I persisted. I'm glad I kept going back to Fanal day after day. Outdoor photography is chaotic, unpredictable. You are at the mercy of nature. She will give when she's ready, but you must be there in order to receive some of it. That's what makes those moments feel so magical and what makes photography so fulfilling. 